Welcome back to the Mass Music Morning Show. This is Shlomo Bo. Now, we are going to be talking about traffic etiquette today, and I got a full house of panelists. We have DJ Famous Seamus. Yes, sir. How we doing? We got Antonio Acoeli. Good morning. And we got Jimmy from the Q. And you can follow me on Twitter at Jimmy from the Q. Isn't that great? Yeah, this guy's already That's plugging. That's all right. I know. He's just <laughs> already butt plug plugging over there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, fellas, traffic fellas. etiquette, huh? Seamus, I know you out of all people. You feel me on this one? Because we'll call each other a few times a week, and we'll, you know we'll be on the phone driving around on yeah. speaker, of course. But uh, we'll equally... I mean, you as much as myself will be yelling and beeping and just uh, going off. I the thing is, I, that used to be me. I used to be a yeller and a beeper. I think uh, I've become a much more peaceful individual, but I will say there are a lot of people out there that do piss me off on the road. Always. Now... When you say traffic etiquette, the first thing that I think of, the absolute first thing, and it really just boggles me, is the desire that people have to do 50 miles in the fast lane. Yeah. Especially, what, are you talking about on 24? Or on just in tw- general? Route 24, that's usually the opposite problem. People go on 150 in the fast lane. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, in general, you know what I mean? Like People just like to go wicked slow for no damn reason. Well, they cause the all this traffic. Seamus, here's the thing. In Massachusetts, for most of the Boston area, the highway is 55 miles an hour is the speed limit Correct. for some yep. reason. And uh, the thing is, true drivers know that the speed limit is technically like 10 miles above mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, it's like, it's like 5 above, 5 below is like the sweet spot. Yeah, so that's the sweet spot. But I'd if say you're, 10 above. Is I was like, going to say 10 above, guys like me and Shlomo, you know, like to push the limits a little bit. I'm what, going like 10, 10 miles. Like 10 above, 5 below, not sponsored? I'd never go 5 below. I'm always 10 above. Yeah, uh, But I, that's the thing. People got to learn how to fucking stay in the right lanes. I'm saying if there's no one on the highway, everyone should be driving in the far right lane. If, for some reason, you have to pass someone in that far right lane, you go to the middle lane. If you're in the middle lane, you got to pass them, you go to the fucking fast lane. That's it, you yeah. know? If you're not passing someone, you move over. That's a good I don't point. get it. If Is you're that, out would there, you say that's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve, and it's it's literally the definition of traffic etiquette, because at that point, you're saying, I don't give a fuck about any person that's driving behind me mm-hmm. or next to me. Screw them. Go to hell. Yeah. I'm going to be in your way. Yeah, speaking of that, I think my biggest pet peeve is when you're in a left turn lane. You're trying to take a left at mainly an intersection, and you don't get your ass out into the middle of the road Mm -hmm. and, you know, get in position. I hate when people sit back at the light right where the stop line is, and they'll wait till, like, the whole thing is clear. No, you got to get your ass out there so the person behind you can also follow suit. Mm -hmm. I hate that, man. Definitely. It and if, it, if the light is yellow, that does not mean slow down. I know, despite what the rules may claim, the light is yellow. Speed up. No, no, it means yep. yield. It means yield. It's Speed like, up. No, keep moving, but just be cautious. That's the yellow. Hey, you know, Seamus, that just reminds me of a good old reference from The Simpsons Season 9, where all the smart people are in charge of Springfield, and Professor Frank is all, oh, we decided to change all the stoplights from red to yellow, noticing how people just go faster during the yellow light, and it's mm-hmm. letting go, and stay yellow, stay yellow, I'm making incredible time, if only I had somewhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, shout out, shout out to all the long yellow lights out there. Hey, Tony, uh, you got any uh, pet peeves? I do. Um, I'm a pretty... Like, I want, I'm a pretty pious person on the road. Mm-hmm. I do my best to follow the the, the rules of the road. Because if I do, I set an example for everyone else. But there's at least 70% of the drivers out there who just don't drive properly and they don't follow the rules. And they should be dealt with properly. I talked about this on MMR Talks when we did our election special, what I would do to alleviate this crisis. But no, you see things like uh, there's signs that say, don't block the intersection. And you have people blocking the intersection. People are trying to get out. People are trying to get in. You're creating traffic. Mm-hmm. And I'm the car right behind the person blocking the intersection. Or sometimes people will be driving and they stop like not far. They don't stop close enough to the car where the next person would you know be blocking the intersection. Then, you know, you're making another problem. I also really just like I know when you go down, I think, Newport Ave yeah. to go to Wallace mm-hmm. Station, there's a there's a turn there. Well, frankly, I think it should be... Uh, I know what you're talking about. I, exactly. I buy the coffee break. Yeah, I think it should be like a left turn only. It should be one of the lights that's like... That, you know, the left turn goes on before the regular green. Oh, yeah. I think, frankly, we need to, you know, as a society, even you know, as a commonwealth, we got to update our, better. our lights. I will say this, too. Uh, I'm a person who... I use the horn 
all the time. Yeah. Even like I'll beep people just to toot toot, like just to say what's up. Yeah. Uh, I saw Seamus driving this morning and I leaned on the horn. Yeah, I saw we, him we from a did. mile away and just leaned on it. And then he leaned on his and it was a great moment. But uh, yeah, I use the horn and here's the thing. If someone beeps me, I beep right back. Even if, you know, even if I'm uh, ahead of them. But my biggest thing too is at a traffic light, you got to get your ass in gear. And there is a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a time of like, all right, the, the light is green. You got like one, two, three, go. Right? Exactly. Anytime after that, you, you know what I'm saying? You get the beep. I know James is staring me down right now because yesterday Uh-oh. someone beat me on like a like a one and a half on a two. Like it was like one, two, and they beat me. I turn around. I'm like, what the hell? This lady's pointing up at the light. Point. I see her. So I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, cool. I, I get to the next light. She's behind me. It goes green. I just sit there. She yep. starts beeping. She starts beeping. I sit there. Yeah, beep, beep me one more time. We're gonna be seeing some different lights. I did it at three separate lights. Like she f- followed me all the way into Weymouth. But uh, no, it's like if you're gonna beat me and be an asshole, like it's calm. It's coming back around. See that? And you just said, "Oh, I love using my horn." And yeah. now it's the he likes using it. He doesn't. Well, he, that's what, that's the whole point of this topic. It's etiquette. You know what I'm saying? You use the horn. When it's appropriate, he can give it, but apparently he can't take it. After three seconds, yes, it is appropriate. But before the three seconds, like I see the lights green, I'm waiting for the truck in front of me to go. Mm -hmm. Don't beat me. Yeah, when it turns green, you kind of have the one, two, three, because you got to look, make sure like there's no police cars or a man with a pregnant wife or just a stolen car, and then you know, bang, you're gone. And what a way to go. But yeah, it's usually like a one, two, three. And we actually briefly talked about. Like the idea of like communicating through car on an episode of MMR Talks streaming now. Yeah, where I think it was when you're when you're in your car, like you don't have a megaphone, you don't have a radio, like a like a microphone on your. I car. actually do have a megaphone. I could I could probably mount it. You car. could, yeah, you could. You know, the only that. the only way you can communicate is with the horn. With the high beams, and uh-huh. by rolling the window down, a middle finger all, out the window. Oh yeah, also that does, sends does, the message. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the horn too. The the length of the horn is very telling. Like if it's like a like you know, hey keep moving a quick beep right mm-hmm. yeah beep, I always beep, give it or beep. the big fat eh, like I blast people most of the time. <laughs> oh anytime like if some this always I think this happened to me Sunday when we were recording another episode where I was driving into you know where the where St John's is and App yeah, yeah, yeah. Steakhouse right that, on the that, corner you know there's a section that's a uh, it's a uh, Left only. Yep, yep. Left only, then it breaks to the right, and then the straight. So yep. I'm in the straight lane, and the person Some in the left lane cuts goes over. into the straight lane, and so I got to give him the good, the long honk. You hit him, yeah. Like, ah! Because, you know, you could have killed me. Yeah. That's facts. I mean, you got to, you know, protect yourself. Speaking of almost dying, I got a question for y'all. Who is the worst driver you have ever been in the car with? Do you want the answer to that question? <laughs> yeah, I do. I will say, if in terms of the most scared I've been in a car, it's probably been with you. What? Not as much lately. But okay. I'd say slow mo of like four years ago. Okay. I'd, there'd be times where I was, I'd hold the uh, old shit bar up, up at the top <laughs> and I'd just be like, I pray to God I make it out of this vehicle. And what happened? You did. And you made it to your destination. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, and you're here now. I mean, so, well, so speaking of the old it. shit bar, Seamus, I think Gianni. Got me good one time. We're taking a left off Washington onto Prey Street, right around the corner. And Gianni's driving. He takes the slowest left turn I have ever <laughs> seen. Mm-hmm. Oncoming traffic is barreling towards us. I'm like, Gianni, like, step on it, buddy. And he's just like, I don't think he had his foot on the gas. You know, your car, when you're just in drive, it, like, creeps along. It was one of those. And I'm like, I'm sitting there, like, holding my seat, like, oh, my God, I'm about to get smoked. Because these cars were not slowing down. He kind of, like, cut them off. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'd say Gianni. Although, he, that was just a oh, shit moment. He's not the worst driver I've ever been in the car with. Yeah, I, um, I've had some close calls with other people, like, in the car. I will say uh, a friend of mine, Bailey from Quincy High, um... We were in the car once. It was like when we were after we'd already graduated and it was like we were going to Canopy Lake and we were in two different cars. I was in his car with his sister and his girlfriend at the time and we were two lanes away from where we were supposed to go. Yeah. And it was an exit, so he jumped through two different lanes and I like Ooh. freaked out. And after we it was we were all fine and he says to his sister in the back, he says, Never do that and I'm all like, sure, yeah, good there. point. Uh, a relative of mine who will remain nameless because I don't want to shame them no, for... name them, chirp them. 
One of my I'm I'm spawn. Chirp them. That's we what got Thanksgiving about. coming up. We can't get into right? that now. Hey, Tony, exactly. I heard you talking shit on the morning show. Yeah. One of my uh, elder relatives, uh, when I get in the car with them, I always feel like, this are they going to turn down the road <laughs> and just murder me and push me out of the car? But other than that, it's like they, they stop. It literally, have you ever been on a roller coaster where it just stops like right away? Oh, yeah. It's a lot like that. Oh, God. <laughs> and, I w- God. and I will say one last thing on for, for me. The most dangerous person I've been in the car with is... Don't say me. I am. Antonio Aquawelli. <laughs> oh, God. Because I've done th- some... Oh, da- yourself? Yeah, I've done some dangerous maneuvers and I've been able to get out alive. Fun. The only thing that I was <laughs> able to... Uh, the only damage was around $500 and was totally... <laughs> And it may or may not have been in my fault legally. It may or may not. It's still like have been Donald Trump right now. Yeah. The only damage was five hundred dollars. It wasn't me that hit you. It was the car that hit you. Yeah, I will say when I was talking to certain changes, I go, "Well, they were kind of parked a little close to uh, my side. Uh, you don't know." But I'm, I am very lucky that the person who may, I may or may not have had this issue with. Was a very calm and collective person. I, if that happened to me, I would not be very calm and collective. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be <laughs> what pissed. the fuck is your problem? Yeah, I would be pissed. So I got very lucky on that. <laughs> well, that's good. So if you're out there listening to this, please just take a few lessons, you know, and mm-hmm. hopefully you'll become a better driver. Yeah, by the end of for the day. me, like, I, I feel a bit unqualified to be talking on this topic because, you know, I don't, I don't have a license. I've actually never owned a car, but I have driven um, some of my like, ex girlfriend's cars around a lot. And one thing I would say is it's, uh, uh, pet peeve of mine would be just uh, potholes because when you get in road dome, um, having a one-eyed gr- having a one-eyed girlfriend isn't what it's cranked up to be. Oh god! <laughs> well, to be fair, James, we did just see you drive earlier today with on uh, on the highway. Oh yeah, in Mario Kart. Yeah, uh, oh, very rusty in Mario Kart. But yeah, you know, just you did um, beat me though. I will say. It, it, I'll tell you what though, it's definitely to beat your one-eyed girlfriend in Mario Kart. Oh my so. goodness. <laughs> Watch note, out for potholes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a wonderful day for the Mass Music Radio team. To y'all, stay blessed. Adios. I, I, I. This is Antonio Acquelli. This is the one and only JQ from the Hills Turn Podcast. This is Jimmy from the Q. And you're listening to Mass Music Radio. And you're listening to Mass Music Radio. Mass Music Radio. Mass music radio.